So it's no secret that Nier Automata has been available on the PC for a while, and unfortunately it's been met with some mixed receptions. Not because the game is terrible or anything, it's more about the fact that this game is just poorly unoptimized on the PC, or I'm sorry, it's poorly optimized on the PC. There have been some random reports all over the Steam message board. People have been pointing out that the game's been running terrible in terms of frame rate, random game crashes, and the game seems to behave rather odd when trying to display it at full screen. When you try to display the game at full screen, what it's doing is displaying the game at 900p and upscaling it from there, leaving the game very blurry. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any way of fixing that unless you just want to play the game through windowed mode or force it into borderless window using some third-party apps. As of this video's post, the Nier Automata crew have posted a statement on Steam saying that they are definitely going to look into these issues. How much they're going to look into it and if they're actually willing to put out a patch is left completely unknown. So what's a person with a mid-tier computer left to do? I mean, after all, it seems like in order to actually avoid these issues, you gotta have a really, really good computer. And the recommended settings, or the recommended parts for this game, involve a GTX 980, which is pretty high up there when you really think about it. I'm currently using a GTX 970. I'll show you right now. Yeah, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. So as I said, what's a person with a mid-tier computer left to do? It just so happens that somebody on Steam has actually gone out of his way to put a mod or set up a mod to allow you to fix some issues here and there. The mod itself is called FAR. Let me bring that up. There it is. FAR, version 0.3.0.1 is the current version. Now this is important because this version also comes integrated with another mod that fixes the global illumination. So let's take a little tour of the world of Nier Automata, shall we? Let, let's actually get a good look at this world. Now I haven't done any tweakings whatsoever with the FAR mod. I have simply installed it and I'm letting it run its course. No tweakings or anything, I just want to see how the game runs with the FAR installed from the get-go. Now when I was originally playing this game, I had to set the game to 720p with all the settings set to low. And even then, the game would still run at 40 frames per second, never to reach anything higher than 50, let alone 60. And right now, with the FAR mod install, installed, it seems to be um, hitting around 50, dropping down to the mid-40s. Alright, not bad, not bad. It seems to be running a lot better than how it was before. Alright, but check this out. Like I said, this comes integrated with a global illumination. Alright, by hitting Control shift backspace you are met with this menu right here. Now I haven't done any tweakings to this. Let's focus on this right here, Global Illumination. The game default has it set to Ultra. Let's turn this sucker off. Now check this out. It's 
60 frames per second. With some minor drops, of course. This is definitely much, much better now. Of course, with global illumination turned off, you will see some weird lighting, like the grass looking a little darker than it should, and maybe some noticeable pop-ups. Yeah, definitely, definitely much better. Let me show you my current settings. Right now, I have the game at 1080p, full screen, V-Sync is turned on, anti-aliasing is turned off, and I'll explain why in a minute. Texture filtering is set to its highest, blur is turned off because I'm not exactly a big fan of motion blur in a lot of games. Shadows set to high, effects set to high, and ambient occlusion is turned on. I went from having to have the game on the lowest setting to somewhat the highest settings that the game can offer, minus the anti-aliasing, and now the game seems to be running much more stable. I couldn't be much happier now. So if you're having the same issues as I have, this fix might actually be for you. I'll link everything in the description so that you can see what it takes to get this all set up. Now I did mention why I, that I have anti-aliasing turned off. The reason for that is, this game is an open world game filled with lots of details in the background. If you were to turn on the anti-aliasing, to anything higher than ten, than times two, many of the the effects that you see here, like all these textures, all the trees, all that sort of thing, the draw distance of this game will be reduced greatly. Normally, while you're running from one area to another, many of the objects that are off in the distance starts to um, blend in seamlessly as you're traveling across the world. But if you were to have the anti-aliasing turned on or anything higher than times two, the pop-ups become much more noticeable, very distracting. So you're left with a dilemma. Should you have, should you want clear, clean graphics, sharp image? You're going to have to deal with the pop-ups. Do you want um, jagged looking game, but you want everything to render itself smoothly? you're gonna have to have anti-aliasing turned off. It's a huge sacrifice, no less. Of course, this only applies to players with mid-tier computers. And results will vary. I can't guarantee you that this fix will help, but if you have somewhat the same uh, graphics card as I do or anything within that range, this might help you out definitely. The most important thing that one should tweak is the global illumination. It's better to have that off, or at the very least, have it set to low. Hopefully in the future, the Nier Automata team send out an official patch to help make this game feel much more complete. This game definitely deserves some attention because it's one of the best games that I've played this year. I certainly love the aspect of this game. The merging of Square Enix's uh, RPG elements with Platinum Games' action-based combat is definitely a really interesting amalgam, and it's one that I actually enjoy. Even if you're not a fan of Nier, this is definitely the kind of game that one should play if they are a fan of Platinum Games. It may not have the 100% charm of Platinum Games, but the game still feels tight, it feels solid, it feels pretty darn good.
anyway, I sure hope this video helps you guys out a lot. Um, I'll be making a couple more reports if anything shows up. But yeah, do check out the description because that's where I'll link all the things you'll need. And until next time, this is Atnaro signing off.